This series will be based on Johnny Depp's current uh, lawsuit with Amber Heard and this got our attention and so with this intermediate level uh, application of Pachi analysis into the life of Johnny Depp. Now, uh, we don't have much time to discuss in uh, a very complete analysis of his life just that uh, we will focus on a few issues for today, four things to be more uh, specific. First, a very quick profile into the person and the other three specific issues that I'll discuss will be the, the readings for Peach Blossom where two is too many. Then we look into the luck pillar which affects a person every 10 years and also uh, the star that is known as Rock Wealth Goat Blit, which of all the 60 zodiac animals, this will be your kryptonite to your superman. Right, now we'll move on to the first thing where this particular website, uh, Astrodiant, is where I can obtain Johnny Depp's birth date, which falls on 9 of June 1963 at 8.44 a.m. And with the time of birth together with the hour as well, then I will be able to come to this particular website, uh, which is by Joey Yaps, uh, where I can key in the details. And from there, I can then plot his natal chart. So in this graph, what you can see, the first thing, first is the natal chart, whereby Johnny Depp is born in the year of the rabbit, eh? the year of the rabbit, water rabbit, Kuei Mao. He's then born in the month of the horse, in the day of the goat, in the hour of the dragon. And so based on his part two analysis, the one important aspect is the day master, where Johnny Depp is a yin water day master. Being a yin day master, uh, the person tends to be more introverted uh, than being an extroverted. Funny, you may say that being a known uh, celebrity and actor, uh, one should normally be an extrovert. But however, if you do look carefully at the types of characters that Johnny Depp prefers to uh, so-called uh, play, you can see that it is a reminiscence of his friend Fasa huh, on his structure here as well. Right, you can also listen to a behavioral uh, expert who can also describe a bit of his characteristics which I will include in the script later. At his base, Johnny Depp is an introvert. I know it kind of sounds crazy because you know he's this big actor and he makes these big movies, but think about the roles that he plays. He hides behind these extravagant kind of crazy characters because he gets to hide who he is, his real self, behind all that craziness. Now, <clears throat> Uh, so there will be three things here that we have to consider. Number one is Peach Blossom. Now there are four Peach Blossom stars. If you would recall, the four Peach Blossom stars would be Rabbit, Horse, Rooster and Rat. And a very quick analysis. We will soon discover that there is a Rabbit. You can see that there is a Rabbit can also see that there is a horse. And so, one can identify that Johnny Depp has two peach blossom stars, the rabbit and the horse. And the appropriate peach blossom for uh, Johnny Depp appears to be basically the rat, eh? as it is. Now, peach blossom star is one that if present in a little chart, reveals that a person is attractive. And peach blossom stars appearing in the year pillar will then be public attraction. And so no doubt that the rabbit represents the attraction, uh, the ability to attract the public's attention to be attractive in public. And so whenever the rabbit appears, uh, Johnny Depp may find uh, that his luck or, or the affinity to be attractive uh, is there. Secondly, you can also find yet another Peach Blossom star in the month in his career, which is then represented in the horse. However, 
uh, it is often said that desirably one can find one peach blossom star in a little chart and when one finds more than one or in fact for Johnny Depp here two we can then possibly say there is one too many moreover uh, the rabbit and the horse will also find itself to be in a destructive relationship therefore there is a rabbit and a horse destruction relationship which may denote multiple uh, issues related to the opposite sex and so one can often find that the life of this person especially Johnny Depp may be one mired with multiple marital issues they can be found in this little chart huh? the rabbit and the horse and so one would have to be very careful so we can also look into the history of Don Johnny Depp for that validation as well now next we would like to look into also what is known as the luck pillar the luck pillar where each luck pillar lasts for a decade and for the case of Johnny Depp his luck pillar begins at the turn of the multiples of 1 no? that means at the age of 1 at the age of 11 21 31 up to 51 and here no? based on the history and the lives of Johnny Depp you can find that he got married to Laurie and Alison in 1983 at the turn or the beginning of a luck pillar and you can also find that in 1987 he became immensely popular with the introduction of the TV series 21 Jump Street where his name has become a household name and he has achieved global fame in the year of the rabbit and in 1994 he got married to or he had started a relationship with Kate Moss not married I beg pardon and then here he uh, met and got married to Amber Heard at the turn of the uh, water red luck pillar so here one can say that uh, your life will encounter substantial change once every 10 years and so at every turn of the luck pillar one can find that it basically would be the opening of a new chapter and while the an old chapter closes but when you embark on a new luck pillar the question is whether that luck will be favorable to you or otherwise. Now if we look into Johnny Depp's current luck pillar, which is represented by the water rat, the water rat, that starts in the year 2013, that will end this year 2022. So one can say that whatever Johnny Depp is experiencing in this luck pillar, those experiences will soon come to an end uh, come to an end and now uh, that the year 2022 is where Johnny Depp uh, currently facing uh, facing an issue with the court his lawsuit with Amber Heard may soon see a closure as he embarked into the next luck pillar now let's focus on the current luck pillar which is the water rat for Johnny Depp now water rat so happens to be the rope, rope wealth goat blade I know it's a very funny term or a funny word and perhaps uh, explanation will come in yet another video but for today of all the 60 zodiac animals that you could face as a luck pillar as a person for the for the person Johnny Depp, this zodiac sign, uh, the water rat, of all the sixty zodiac animals, this is the kryptonite to Johnny Depp. Someone who practices Chinese metaphysics, given a position to advise Johnny Depp, will always advise him to avoid any event, to avoid dealing with any person 
who has this particular symbol. Because this symbol uh, will do what it does, it will rob the wealth and the happiness and it sucks the life out of the person. But of course, Johnny Depp will find that this is inevitable, has water rat, uh, doesn't come into his life in the form of a person, doesn't come in form in the event, but it comes in the form of his luck pillar. And therefore, of all the decades that Johnny Depp uh, would encounter, this would be the worst 10 years of his life. Huh? And I'm sure uh, in hindsight, in future, Johnny Depp may concur to this opinion, huh? that this decade is where he got married to Amber Heard and he has experienced a cancel culture. And now, of course, huh, he's engaged in a lawsuit with her. But anyway, huh, one can consider that uh, this decade is coming to the end and Johnny Depp will begin a new chapter of his life starting next year. And so this may be a favorable reading for him in the coming years. Well, this is all I would like to discuss for this short video. Thank you.